Riders have been asking for a better service, a better TTC. In our report, we look at what we're working on now and what the future could be in the next five years. The future for the TTC could be bright, but it all depends on funding. The TTC has made the largest increase to surface routes in its history, especially during off-peak hours. The next step is doing a better job of integrating with GO and other regional services for medium and long-range trips. We've also introduced better fare options like the transferable Metro Pass and a weekly pass. What we want to do next is move towards electronic payments that are more flexible and convenient for riders. Another possibility is introducing timed fares so you can travel on the TTC and make short stops without paying a second fare. We're renovating stations to improve their appearance and hiring more cleaners and maintenance staff to keep them clean. Subway stations will have new platform edge doors that will improve efficiency and make it safer for riders. We're also proposing major improvements to our subway stations, such as new elevators, escalators, washrooms, and additional entrances to make stations more modern, functional, and accessible. However, more work is needed, and new funding must be secured to make these improvements a reality. The TTC has started construction work on Transit City, a network of approximately 130 kilometers of light rail lines. But provincial funding deferrals have put the completion of the expansion plan in question. The TTC has introduced new and better ways of communicating with our customers, like platform video screens, a next vehicle arrival system, and a new website, along with e-alerts and a trip planner. But we also know that the TTC must be better at listening to our customers and do more to improve customer service. We're replacing our entire fleet, including new buses, streetcars, and subway cars. The next step is to improve route performance so that buses and streetcars arrive when expected. We'll do this through improved route supervision, the installation of transit signal priority, and other measures that will improve route performance. We're up to the challenge of making our routes more reliable and convenient for our customers. Toronto deserves a 21st century, world-class public transit system. Reaching our goals depends on support from all levels of government. We've heard from you that this is what you want. We know that there are things to fix. We know what needs to be done. Now we need the resources and funding to do it. We're proud of our successes and aware of the challenges ahead.